Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have made a lovely little demonstration frame so that I can do pom pom blanket demos with the different patterns and things where it's going to be a lot cheaper for me than making a whole big blanket because I don't nail the big blankets that I make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it's possible to make a double sided reversible pom pom blanket. I am going to use red on the bottom. I'm going to use this lovely multicolored purple that goes quite nice on the top. But because I'm going to do the red pom poms and a red center to hold them all together, I'm going to make I'm going to need this to make a little grid. I've showed you already how to make a grid when you make pom-poms that are the same colour. And this is going to be our top pom-pom. So I've got my four balls of wool, my four strands. I'm going to tie it on here, down in this corner. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do our traditional squares of what we would normally do. Just up and down our nails, just like this. Now don't pull your white, you don't pull your wool too tight because you don't want to buckle your frame. Just make sure you've got enough tension in it. So once we get up to here, we go this way. So that's me back down to here. So this is one full round on my frame. This is going to be the bottom layer of your pom poms. Now I've got a little tip. If you get little tiny nails like this, what you can do is you can just tap them in in a position where it's between these nails. Bend them down just a little bit because I'm going to show you what you need to do next. The last time I showed you how to do how to put a grid on, I just wrapped the wool around the frame. But this time I found it's going to be so much easier just to use these little nails. So I've got the wool that I'm going to use to separate my bottom pom poms from my centre, which would normally be your base. If you understand what I mean. You'll see what I mean when we get to the end of the tutorial. So I'm just going to tie. This is just my scrap wool to use as a grid. You can use wool. You could use thin wire. Anything that is visible. So I'm going to tie it down in here first. Now I've got these little nails running all the way around my frame. They are all the way around, as you can see, and on this side, I bent them down a little bit to make them like little hooks, and on all there. And they're all in line with the centre of my nails. So I've tied it here in this nail. I've started it off here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it across the top, around the nail on that side, down to the next one and then I'm going to go across my board to this side here around that nail around that nail you can see it better from there bring it up to this one under that nail across to the next one down to that one around that little nail around that little nail then up to this nail, along to this nail, and then down this way. This is going to separate our bottom pom poms from the centre sandwich that is going to hold it all together. And then we'll put 
our layer for our top pom-pom. So this is going to be a reversible pom-pom blanket with pom-poms on both the bottom and the top. So I'm just going to wind that back and forward. So I've got my grid on, so what I'm going to do now is, I've got the bottom here is going to be the bottom pom-poms. Now I'm going to put the centre in. So I'm just going to tie that in here. So I'm just going to go and put three rounds on for my centre layer. And I've got my four balls of 100 gram double knitting wool. So I'm just going to put three rounds on, just in the usual manner. It's the same pattern for each of the layers. And then we'll do this, see? Now the next layer I'm going to put on, I'm going to use this. I'm only going to use three strands because it's really super chunky. Down in the bottom, we've got the bottom pom-pom layer, we've got our middle sandwich, and now I'm going to put a top pom-pom layer on. But again, what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same square pattern. So I've got my colour on, my little frame. I'm going to zoom in. So you can see so as you can see I've still got my little grid down inside here so that is going to separate that's going to separate my base pom-poms from from the centre so that we still have a little sandwich of of wool inside there to hold all these pom-poms together. Unfortunately, with this double-sided double pom-poms, double with the pom-poms on either side, you've got to hand tie. You have to hand tie it. And with this, you're going to have to tie it super, super tight. Now, the wool that I've used on the bottom and my inside it's got a lot of nylon on it, so it's really, really tough before it actually snaps. So it's not going to snap, so I can tie it really, really tight. So what I'm doing is I'm tying it here on the top, and I'm leaving my little bits like this. These will disappear into the pom-poms when the pom-poms are made. So we're going to tie up this way and up this way. But what you can do is just hold on to your piece of wool, send your shuttle down through this space and then up through this space. Just make sure it doesn't catch on any of the wool. Make sure it doesn't catch on that grid. So you get your wool and just tie it as tight as you can. Just pull it up and push it down. Because it's double pom-poms, it needs to be as tight as possible. Now keep that end there. Now we're going to go up and down this way. So send your shuttle down this side and bring it up this side. Make sure you don't go into your grid. So then you can do your little slip knot and tighten that in as tight as you can get it without snapping your wool. And hold on to it and tie that like that. A little double knot. And then just trim it off. Just like that. Now, I did this one twice. But I think it needs to go tighter, so I might do that little slip knot with that. Now that's tightened that all in really, really tight. 
So I'm going to continue on tying up all my frame and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it's like. I'm just going to flip it over and I'll show you the red side where I'm going to cut the pom-poms first. Put the grid in so that like before on one of the other tutorials it's going to show me how deep to cut. So all you need to do now is just cut your pom-poms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little grid just to show me when to stop cutting so I don't cut into that centre part that's going to hold all my all my pom-poms together. So now I'm going to cut this way. Even though the, the grid's just a little bit off, just make sure you still cut in the centre of your wool so you get even pom-poms. So the grid that shows you how deep to cut when you're using the same colour of pom-pom as you are on your piece in the middle. So I'm going to cut this one just to complete our pom-pom. I'll bring that over there a little bit so you can see it better. So that makes your pom-pom on this side. It's going to be a lovely little fluffy pom-poms. So once I've cut all those, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to turn my frame around. And then I'm going to cut all the pom-poms on this side. But because I've got a different rule from the red, it's quite easy for me to see where I need to cut. I'll bring that down a bit so you can see it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut through this purpley colour like this to make my purple pom-poms. Don't worry too much if you cut through maybe the odd one or two of the your centre, but you don't you will need to make sure that you do your best not to cut too much of it. So, and that's a little purple pom poms. So, all I have to do, and that's got my red base down in there, my red base is there, well, my red centre, which is holding the top pom poms and the bottom pom poms. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back around and I'm going to cut all my pom poms. I'm going to cut all the pom poms. On here, I'll take this grid off and then I'll turn it back over and I'm going to cut all the purple ones and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is my purple pom-poms all cut out. All nice and big and fluffy. And, ta -da! when you turn it over, You've got your pom-poms on the other side. And I've got my, I'm going to lift that up a little bit. And I've got my middle layer sandwiched in there. So the middle layer's holding all these pom-poms on this side and this side on. So all I need to do is just go around and cut these little fringes off. To cut my little blanket 
of the frame So here we are, here is our double sided pom pom blanket. Well this is just a small one, tidied up all the little fringe. You can even just cut the fringe right off if you want, it's up to yourself. So it's up to you what colour you make these. Now this has turned out absolutely lovely, I really really like this. So once again I'd like to thank you all for watching. A big thank you to all the people who take a little bit of time to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment in the comments box if you want to do that. If there's any type of tutorial that you would like to see me do, and then you leave a little comment in the comment box and I'll see what I can do. So until the next time, take care. And I'll see you all again. Goodbye.